Hello there, in this video I'm going to introduce you the new tenant switching experience we have in Microsoft Teams. First of all, I hope you are well and safe, and now let's go into the point. So here I am in my Microsoft Teams test tenant where I have the new user experience in terms of the look and feel, my app, but I also have the new user experience when doing a tenant switch. Basically, if you are wondering where is the tenant switch, it's because I have already the new experience available here. As you can see here, yes, below the avatar of the picture of the user, I have an account and organizations link. If I click on that link on settings, what I'm going to see is just the option to change to any other tenant where I'm actually a guest. For instance, I can click on this tenant that is uh, the tenant of uh, my colleague Gustavo Vélez. And when I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing that action, I'm going to immediately access to that tenant. So, as you can see, Microsoft has just moved the switching tenant experience uh, to a different point of view. So instead of having a drop down uh, where I can choose the tenant I want to go, uh, I want to move, I had to click first in the accounts and organizations option setting, and then click on the tenant I I want to access. So I can just click on that tenant and then. After some time, I'm going to access uh, to that particular tenant. This is going to take some uh, time. Um, yeah, if you are wondering if the uh, tenant switching is faster, the answer is no. So still, uh, it's very slow. Um, yeah, we have to wait until Microsoft provide, provides a cool, this, a good, this, a good solution for this slowed uh, tenant switching. And as you can see here, uh, as soon as I arrive, I arrive to the, uh, the tenant where I'm guest. The tenant switch experience can go back to the classic experience. That's the case where I have the drop down and I can basically choose uh, the tenant I, I want access to. So I can go back. And last thing I, uh, I, I want to mention you is that depending on the tenant, and particularly if you have configured the Microsoft Teams preview, you uh, may not uh, see uh, this new experience when doing the tenant switching. For instance, in this tenant, uh, where uh, you can see here in the About section, I have enabled the public preview for Microsoft Teams. That means that I'm not going to have the new the tenant switch experience. So I'm still seeing the classic tenant switching experience. And that's all that I have for today. So I hope you have found this video useful. And yeah, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, uh, talk to you soon. And please stay safe. Bye-bye.